everybody. Hi, 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 hi. I know I did not announce that I'm coming online today. But surprise, surprise, here I am. Because I haven't been online this week. Let me share, let me share, let me share, let me share, let me share. Let me share, share the groups. Okay. So, with lost tools. With lost tools. That you need. You need. Hi. Who is my first um, person? Needs to succeed. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm just trying to share. I have a very important uh, message for you guys today. People who are seeking to look after themselves. People who are finding it difficult to lose weight. I have good news for you guys today. So, if that is what you're seeking, I want you to stay put and I want you to share this program. A lot of people are struggling. Um, and remember, weight loss is not only because, you know, you want to fit into your clothes. Weight loss is for your health and well-being. So, that's exactly why... I take my time to educate people to make it a bit easier and happier for them. So um, if you are joining us, you can share. Mm -hmm. So I didn't announce my coming online. So it's not as if... Uh, it's not as if... Uh, Okay, so hello, 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 hello. Who is in the house? 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 Who is there? All right, so just uh, okay, no. So it's not like that. It's like this. Um, so please pardon me. I'm trying to share. I have to share. Um, I have to share, 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 share. If I don't share, people will not know that we are online. Uh, tools you need you need to lose weight join join our live program okay so how are you guys Britana Kamara, how are you, babe? Telegram, I'm blessed to be in the house. Oh, thank you so much. And you're not going to regret it, to be honest, because uh, my unannounced, uh, when I come online unannounced, is because I am inspired and there's something I really want to teach. So anybody that comes in is a blessed person. You get me? So, yeah. Um, okay, so but I'm just trying to share so that to make people aware that we are online. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Okay, so new plan, new plan. Mm -mm. 
Roman Naji, how are you, babes? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Um, all right, Lizzie. Okay, so I'm just going to ask this lady, please join our live. Um, just, uh, I just, uh, no, just... Okay, so, so let me know, let me know it's you, it's you. Okay, so Gloria Tanko, good evening babes, how are you? Uche Chichi Doze, hello mommy, good evening ma, good evening my darling, how are you guys? That's how much I love you guys. So I haven't really talked to you guys live this week. So I said no. Before Saturday that we're going to come and then dance and walk out. I really need to see you guys. <clears throat> and you know that I am I have just embarked on a 30 days meal sample. I'm just showing you guys meal samples the quantity of meals that is kind of acceptable for you to lose weight in 30 days uh because the people that join the meal plan the 30 days meal plan some of them sometimes don't get the meal plan they don't get the measurement right nay homan naji you're fine i am fine sweetheart thank you so very much deborah how are you my darling are you okay so you guys are welcome. So it's because of people like you that sometimes I try to do everything to help. Yes. So um, I decided to come online, number one, to encourage you guys. Number two, to tell you guys how I'm feeling. I have done five days. Um, I've done five days of the you know meal plan or meal sample just to tell you how I'm feeling. And for people who joined me, I want to know as well if you joined, how you're feeling. And again, to give you some tools that you need when you want to lose weight. Lizzie Chikodi, how are you, babes? Oh, Lizzie. Is that you, baby? How are you? Yes, you are a blessed soul. That's why you're joining now. So, um... I'm going to add you later when I finish my life. Yeah. So welcome. So just listen attentively. Yeah. So um, the reason why I came online is I'm inspired to kind of talk to you guys about some tools that you need to, um, to succeed in weight loss. Because the reason why many people don't succeed in weight loss latifat how are you babes ah this is my girl oh. money amo how are you sweetie you guys are welcome you know that anytime that anytime that i am online there is a reason please give me a second give me a second hello eh, i know because i've been calling you and that is not going through so when okay okay when i finish i'll give you a call back yeah when i i'm online i'm live now when i finish i'll give you a call okay all right so um ofumo kate igile how are you sweetie mani amo how are you you guys are welcome yeah i'm fine thank you so very much i'm fine i really like it when you guys ask how i'm doing yeah so there are lots of reasons why people fail when they go uh when they go on weight management or weight loss yeah so and one thing i want to tell you guys is that you know when you hear people say you know that they want to lose weight they just think that losing weight one off is enough no it's not enough 
losing weight and weight management is a lifetime journey. So long as you still have the, your breath of God in your nostril, you will be adding weight, you will be losing weight. But the most important thing that this channel is all about, Dim Joy, how are you? Good evening, mom. I'm doing very well, sweetheart. And thank you for asking, even better as you have asked. Thank you. So, yeah, the reason why I always come to talk to you guys is that some people just think that, let me just go there and lose weight, and that would be it. So long as you're still eating food, so long as you're still drinking juice, so long as you're still alive, you're bound to lose weight and you're bound to add weight. So it's up to you to choose one. Like, you know, when we were growing up, they say characteristics of living things. Living things, they move, they eat, they do this, they do that. So that's exactly, so long as you are a living thing, you must add weight. Yeah? So, so what I have come to tell you is to give you tools on how to manage it, how to curb your weight, how to bring it down, and then how to stabilize it. Okay? So, um... Another thing I found out that people do is uh, some people will just think that when they join the 30 days meal plan, that just paying me is enough for them to lose weight. But sometimes I laugh. The money I'm, I'm charging is just to encourage you guys because when you see that something is not free, even if it's a penny, you know that you paid for it, then you will try everything to kind of work on it. Gold love. Good evening, mommy. Looking good as always. Thank you so much, my darling. I appreciate you. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah. So that's why. So now some people will come and pay that money and then sit down. And they will be messaging me. Oh, grandma, I really depend on you. I really need you to help me. Oh, I really this and that. Meanwhile, when they paid the money, I send them all the informations that they require in order to join, that they require in order to do to lose weight. And that's exactly what I do. That's what I send to them. But they will keep telling me that, look, we rely on you, it's you, you know, and so on. And some people will just like, uh, but we paid money. But if you pay money, is it me that will do it for you? All I need to do is to give you counsel. All I need to do is to give you materials that will help you in your journey. So these are things that I have really found out that make some people not to lose weight. So I'm still going to give you tools. Another tool is this. Some people, you give them meal plan and they will be thinking that, look, that they need to buy that meal plan because the meal plan is, is free. The only money you pay is the registration. When, when you register, then I'll give you everything. So some of them will tell me that, they need a personalized meal plan. They don't want the meal plan for everybody. Victoria Nkesi, good evening, Ma. You are looking good. Thank you so very much. Yes, I'm looking good, even without makeup. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So, um, so, so some people are like uh, that they need a personalized um, meal plan. 2,500 Naira or $10. You need, even if you pay me $100, it's not enough for me to do a personalized meal plan for you. Before I'm able to do a personalized meal plan, I have to ask you all the food that you eat that is available to you and so on. It will take me time. So I, if I have to do, I haven't done it before, but if I, if I have to do it, I really need to charge money because, you know, I have to really sit down to do it. Why am I saying it? People always think that they can buy everything with money. And people don't value something that is cheap. People don't value something that is free. When it's cheap, when it's free, they think that it's not going to work. There was a time I was like that. I would just keep spending money, spending money, spending money. If something is cheaper, I would think, no, that one is not the original one. I will start paying money until my orientation changed. That is not everything that you buy with money. So that's my inspiration to come to you this evening. 
like I've always done most of the time when I have one hour or so, I will just come to you guys to, you know, I don't announce that one. I know that we, we already know that Saturday is our day for workout. Oh, Biabams, how are you? Welcome. So Saturday is our day for workout. That one, we know that. Sunday is our meeting day. It's our family meeting day. That one, we know that. But within the week, most of the time, I come online impromptu. Whoever that join will join. Then whoever that doesn't join can see it. Because if you see me online, know that there is a reason why I come online. And know that it's very, very important information that I want to share with you guys. I don't come online just to come online for coming online sake. There is always a topic that I want to uh, treat. Yeah. So today the topic is, you know, the topic is tools that you must have in order to have a successful weight loss journey you know tools you know when you want to go to farm you need tools it depends on the stage of the farm you know if it is the first stage you know that there is a lot of bush that you need to cut because you have to cut all those bush before you start your cultivation which means you need knife not only small knife cutlass very big cutlass you need to cut all the bush and everything so you need it and then after that, that you have cut all the this thing, you need rake in order to rake everything together. There will be a time that you will need uh, um, to, to, to open it for the sun. Adedoku, how are you, sweetie? Good evening, my darling. Listra Dawa, good evening, my darling. Bless you guys. Welcome. So that's exactly. So what we are talking about is tools that you need in order to have a successful weight loss journey. So that's what we have come to do today. <clears throat> so you see, all those stages, you need tools. All those stages, you need tools. When you have done all the cutting, you need tools. You need uh, the rake and so on. And after you have done everything, then that's when you need hole. Hole, you know, we that come from the village, we know all these things. So that's when you need hole, hole to till the ground. And after tilling the ground, you start, you know, to plant the seed. So that's exactly what I want to tell you today. When you hear about weight loss, don't think that weight loss is only for people who are fat or people who are overweight or people who are obese and so on. Weight loss stroke weight management. The reason why I don't call it weight management is that some people might misunderstand it. When they see only weight management, they will not know that weight loss is part of it. So that's why I always put weight loss. But weight loss stroke weight management because whether you are slim or you are big, you need to manage your weight. You need to manage your health. You need a healthy lifestyle. And that's what we have come to treat today. So the tools that we need, one of the tools that you need in order to have a successful weight loss is self-image. How do you look and how do you want to look after you have lost weight? You need to have an image in your mind's eyes what you want to look like after the weight loss or after the weight management. You can even build yourself an image and build, you know, kind of a dress or a trousers or a clothes that you really want to fit into. Yeah, you really want to fit into this clothes. You really want to look so, 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 and so way. As a result of that, you will have that image, picture in your head. If you don't have it, then you, you, you don't have a basis of what you are working for. Take, for instance, now, you start, on, you start a journey. You don't know where you're going. So how will you know when you get to where you're going? You want to travel. You don't know where you're going to. You don't know where you're traveling to. So, so if you set on up on that journey, which way will you go? Are you going right? Are you going left? Where are you going? So you see, that's why you need a plan like this is my end point. This is what I want to look, look like. I want to fit into size 14, maybe your size 18. Then you say, okay, I want to fit into size 14. You imagine yourself in that size 14 how good you will look and so on. 
and you will have that picture in your head that this is what I am pursuing. I have to get to size 14. So no matter whatever that happened, if you have not reached that size 14, you know that you have not reached your destination. That's exactly what it is. I give you an example. So when, like I said, I told you guys that I have done five days of my 30 days meal sample. Why did I start doing it? I I felt that I'm putting on weight. And some of you asked me to go and weigh myself because I was so scared of, about weighing myself. And one of you guys said I should weigh myself so that I will know if I am losing or, or adding. So when I weighed myself, true to my instinct, I have added seven kilos. Do you get me? So now, because I have added seven kilos, I now started my 30 days meal sample. So what do I do? I sample my meals. I portion my meals. And I said, because of the love I have for humanity, I decided to start recording it. It's not easy for you to record your meal in the morning in the afternoon, at night, even if I go out, I have to come back to be able to record it. So I'm going to do this for 30 days. Do you get me? So I decided to carry you guys along in case of people who are struggling with portions, you know, like people who are you people who are in the group, you know, that are struggling with portions. So when they see all these things I'm posting, they should be able to know that, oh, this portion is right and wrong. So you see, now I have a picture of what I want to do. I want to get back to my 69, which was what I was weighing before I weighed myself and I was weighing 76. Yeah, yeah, I was weighing 76, which means I've added seven kilos. So now I have a picture of myself, what I want to be and what I want to weigh after this. So you see, I have a destination. So now you need to have a destination. That's one tool. <clears throat> that destination is the image of yourself. The image, you know, after image of what you want to achieve, how you want to look, you know? So that's what, one thing that you have to have in mind before you embark on a weight loss or weight management program. So that is one image of what you want to look like so that image <clears throat> sorry so that image has become your destination if you want to travel if you want to go to your hometown if you want to travel to anywhere your destination is that place that you are traveling to so now what is your destination when you want to start your weight loss or weight management program your destination is your image. Igodo family vlog. How are you, sweetie? Welcome. I appreciate you. See? So we are talking about tools <clears throat> that you need in order to lose weight. So yeah. So that's exactly your destination. That image. That size 12. That size 14. That size 18. Whatever size that you want to achieve. That's exactly your destination. And that's the image that you need in your head. So that is number one tool that you need. Very, very important. That's the first thing that you need to have and hold. Thank you so much. I, I'm happy you're fine. So that's the image that you need before you ever start on a weight management or weight loss journey. So that's number one image. So number two image that you need mental toughness mental toughness let me tell you weight loss mary i see you. how are you my darling welcome i appreciate you welcome so mental toughness if you are not mentally tough you will not embark on weight management i'm telling you that yours truly i have been through all those things i've been through a lot like I always tell you guys, my family, I am I have sweet tooth. I love things that you I don't know how to explain it. It's a, it's, it's a fault. Yeah. If I'm passing through a pastry shop right now, I don't know something that they have. I think they put some rope there to be drawing me. 
that thing will be pulling me. Sometimes I will just go inside and start looking. It, though I know I'm not going to buy it, too, but I will just start looking. Like as if, as if, as if, I, I don't know how to say it. That's why I say that you need mental toughness. That mental toughness to stand and say, no, no, I don't, I, I wouldn't take it. No, 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 I wouldn't take it. Do you get me? I wouldn't take it. I won't take that ice cream. I won't buy it. I won't buy that bread. I won't buy it. No, 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 no. You sometimes you will be talking to yourself. So you need that mental toughness. Hi, Augusta. Welcome to my life. Thank you so much. Yes. So that's exactly mental toughness. You need it. You need to be able to stand and say no. And you know, Tell me about it. You and biscuits. You welcome to you see at me anything that is done with flour. You know, flour is my fault. You see bread, you see biscuit, you see cake, you see buns, you see puff puff, you see all those things that is fattening. You see ice cream. That's all that I, I like. And that's exactly why I, you know, I, I, I did a lot of research, and then that's why you're seeing me here because I have done a lot and then the success brought me to you guys. Okay? So that mental toughness, you really need it. And what drives that mental toughness, what drives it is the first one, self-image. When you remember that if you take this bread, if you take this ice cream, if you take this, it's going to affect your drive to get into that image then your toughness will kick in. You will not take it. This has worked for me. And I'm telling you, some people who have been on my training, it has worked for them, majority of them, and it will work for you if you put it into practice. Mental toughness. The first one is that self-image. How do you like to look? Hi, Kisiwa. Thank you, sweetheart. Eti say welcome. If you do the Itanene, how are you, babes? Welcome, all of you. Yeah, you guys are part of the family that I don't even announce coming online. And once you guys see the listing, you come. So thank you so much for joining. We're talking about uh, tools that you need to embark on a weight loss or weight management program. And we talked about the first two, which is a self-image, what you want to look like, how you want to appear. So, and the second one is mental toughness. The ability to say no to certain things. The ability to say no. Oh, thank you so much. The ability to say no. I, I won't take this. I won't have this. And so on. So, I call it sometimes, I call it a opportunity cost. You know, in secondary school then, if you do economics, uh, there is something we call economics. They, uh, we call opportunity cost. So they said opportunity cost is alternative for gone. So you have two things and you like two of them, you know, but you have to choose one. You cannot have two of them at the same time. You have to choose one. So you have to choose the most important one to you. So now you're making a choice, a choice, a short-term choice and a long-term choice. A long-term choice is looking at yourself and you look good. A short-term choice is taking that ice cream or eating that biscuit or that. So you have to make a choice. So now the choice is yours. So very, very important. Mental toughness. So that's the second one. Yeah. So the third one, <clears throat> the third one is who is your role model? Who are you looking up to? In this world and in this life, there must be somebody you want to look like. There must be somebody that you want to look like. You admire this person. It might be your mom. It might be your auntie. Heritage, how are you? It might be your mom. It might be your auntie. Like me, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, I have these two big sisters. They are my, they are my siblings. You know, my two big sisters. You know, the big one, I call her less is more. Because when she when she has a makeup, you will not know that she put on a makeup. Yeah? 
Oh, thank you so much. Henry said that I'm, I'm his role model. Oh, bless you. Thank you so very much. Yes, Khalif Naya, good evening. How are you? So this is my big sister. When she make up, yeah, you will never know that she put up a makeup, but her face will be glittering. You know, so we call her less is more. So it's like the less you see, the more you look, something like that. Then my other sister is um one of these uh, models. I don't know. She's not a professional model, but I look up to her, her shoes, her the way she talks, the way she walks and everything. So I will just be looking at them and then I was like, my God, I want to be like this. I want to be like this, you know? So there must be somebody that you want to look like. Forget about all these people that are, have their bomb, uh, bush, their this. Look for somebody who is natural. Look for somebody who is natural. Please. Because I am doing something that is natural. As you see me, you see, you see that line is forming on my face. You see the line. I didn't do anything. The line is forming on my face. Yes. Because it doesn't matter. Age, when age is coming, there's nothing you can do to that age. It must come. Do you get me? So you can only do one or two things naturally to push it back a bit. But must it come? It must come. Because it's like clothes. Our body is like clothes. When you buy clothes, if you wear it for so many years, it will start tearing off. So long as you're wearing it, it will start tearing off. Even if you're patching it, it will be tearing. That's how our body, as our body is a tent. You get me? So yes, you need a role model. Whom do you look up to? Whom do you want to look like? As in, it might be, you know, um, that is physically like that. Physically, how do you want to? So you will just be looking at that. That's why most of the time I have to really, really be careful on what I eat, or how I behave, and so on. Because I am in the eyes of so many people. Do you get me? Yeah. Esther Sule, how are you, my darling? Oh, thank you so much. You say, Grandma, my mentor. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, my children. Thank you so much. So you see. That's exactly what we need. That's one of the tools. Yeah? So it might be your mom. It might be a celebrity. It might be a writer. It might be somebody from another, you know, wherever. But you say that, oh, I really like the, the form of this person. I really like the shape of this person. I really like this, 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 that. Let me work hard and see. I might not get exactly how she is, but I might just be close. Do you get me? Yeah, so that's exactly, you need one person that you need to look up to. Yeah, so when you look up to that person, then. Tapelo Makasana Beleme. My leader, my role model is you, Grandma. Oh my God, you guys will make me to tear up. Oh my God, thank you so very much. I did not know I'm making that impact. Thank you, my darling. I really appreciate. And I wouldn't disappoint you guys. That's why I do everything at least to look good for you guys. And anything that is natural, yeah? I won't hurt myself, but it's, it has to be natural for you guys, yeah? Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. So exactly. So that's it. The role model, yeah? So but at least let me use myself as an example, Yeah? Um, I have tried my best to look similar the same for the next, for the, for the last 20 years, for the last 20 years. If I bring my, 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 my picture last 20 years, I think there's not much change. Ah, Bola! Facebook has allowed you to make comments. This is wonderful. That's Bola, my admin, and then she's she can now make comments. That's good. Last, you know, last time you were in table two. Yeah, welcome, my darling. Yeah, welcome. So you see, last 20 years, if I bring it and compare, it's, it's almost the same thing. Almost the same thing. Why? It's not because I'm not aging. It's because I'm doing something about it. It's because I'm watching my food. It's because I'm watching my diet. It's because I'm exercising. It's because of all these things. 
Do you get me? So you can easily push back age a bit. You can easily push back, you know, all those things that has to do with age, arthritis. But mind you, I cannot run the way I used to run 20 years ago. No, but I can still run. Yeah. So that's exactly third one, you know, have somebody that is like a role model to you. Now you need persistence. Do you get me? One thing that you need is a very, very strong tool for weight loss or weight management, persistence. There are certain times that you start weight management program or you start weight loss program. You know, you know you're doing everything right. Too. You're doing everything right. You do this and do that. You know that you're hungry. You're not even eating well and so on. And after a few days, you will go and uh, weigh yourself. And you see that you even added. <laughs> You see that you even added weight. It's like, Mike, what is all this? I'm supposed to be losing weight. Why did I even add weight? Some people will just give up. No. Something is happening inside you. You need persistence. You need to persist. That is one of the tools. Very, very important tools. You need to persist. Yeah? Because that thing that you saw yourself that you added or something like that. Something is happening inside your body. Maybe the time that you weighed yourself, maybe you haven't eaten and so on and certain food inside you hasn't, you know, digested and, you know. So after you have weighed yourself, then the digestion and everything went and then added some few pounds. And now when you weigh yourself, that pounds that you have added a day after will just show and you will think, oh, you're not losing weight. Jessica J, how are you, my sweetheart? Are you okay? My referee, you okay? Welcome, darling. I appreciate you. <clears throat> so you see, that's why you need to persist. Even if you see it and then you, you see that you're putting on weight, don't worry. By the time you weigh again after a week, or so long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, by the time you weigh again, you will be happy. Yeah? By the time you weigh again, you will be happy. So, you know, what I normally tell you guys, people who have joined us earlier, Solange Ekume, how are you, my baby? Welcome. Peace, Shegu. Oh, my God, I miss you. Peace. Where have you been? Oh, are you Okay. Oh dear, there are some people that oh dear. Oh Solange, it's your time, it's your first time watching. Oh, sweetheart, welcome. Yeah, this is a family. This is a family. You welcome. Yeah, make sure you follow the page so that you know whenever we post, you will be able to see it. Okay, Jessica, you're okay. Yeah, I want you guys to welcome Solange. Welcome her. It's her first time, please. Evelyn King, how are you? Good evening, my darling. Are you okay? You guys should welcome each other, yeah? Okay. So, yeah, that time I used to tell you guys, yeah, welcome. So I used to tell you guys that um, one thing that you need to do when you are doing weight management or weight loss is to take your skill and hide it. Yeah? Maybe I said, yeah. Is to take your skill and hide it away. Hide it away. Don't even bring it to closer to wherever you are. Otherwise, you will be frustrated. You know? So, that's the thing. Yes. Yeah, so, Bola is replying to Solange. You are welcome to the winning team. Oh, yes. That's the thing. So, that's exactly what it is. Persistence. Yes. Solange, they are welcoming you. These are my children. That's exactly how they do. Oh, Naomi, it's Naomi's first time as well. Please, uh, Bola, can you share my WhatsApp my WhatsApp number? Ah, uh, Naomi, Dev, uh, Naomi David, welcome, my darling. Uh, they are gonna share the the WhatsApp number now. Okay, welcome. And this is your home. This is a home. Yeah, this is a home. Nobody is new. This is a home for you. So welcome. Yeah. So you see. You need to persist. You need to persist in order to win. Yeah? Jen Chooks, Oruchal, how are you, my darling? Oh, my children 
everyone are joining it's like you guys just finished from work and you guys are joining welcome my darling jane okay so we've talked about persistence so for people who are just joining you can see the topic what we are discussing is the tools that you need in order to be successful in weight management or weight loss journey the tools that you need yeah and then we started talking about now now nena udara how are you hello sweet grandma i'm fine sweetheart fatima agbk oh cute darling how are you welcome these are my children they are joining now you guys okay welcome yeah so we're talking about the tools the first tool we talk about is your self-image that you need to know what you want to look like you need to know whether you want to fit into size 18 size 16 size 14 size 12 you whatever size you need to have an image of the size that you want to fit into yeah that's the second one this the first one the second one is mental toughness you really need to be able to remove your eyes from ice cream like me like me i went to the shopping center today to you know pick a few things it's fruit that i went to buy you well when i was passing i saw this uh a Bollinger, you know the the pastry shop i went inside there and started looking i was looking like a fool that is a it's my like my mouth is already eating it my mouth is already eating the all the pastries there that mental toughness i say i cannot disappoint my children this is the, the fifth day today is the sixth day and then if i eat all these things it's going to add my weight when i weigh what what will i tell them i just left the place I saw ice cream. I just left the place and then I went to the food shop. So mental toughness and then your self-image when you remember what you want to look like. Very important. We talked about role model. Who is your role model? Who do you want to look like? Who do you want to resemble? And we talked about plastic. We don't want you to keep thinking about these people that are so plastic because you know it's not everybody that has the money to go and do the plastic surgery one number two even if you have the money it's too painful and so on and some people you know some people pay out of it so it's not a good thing yeah so look at people who are natural to look up to yeah so we talked about persistence you need to persist whether you see yourself losing or you're not losing you need to persist. you say that he with i here you just say you know what no retreat no surrender is here so um let me tell you guys before i go to the the 50 oh, this is a uh, one two three four okay i think we've talked about you know self-image mental toughness um role model persistence yeah so before we talk about the next one i just want to tell you guys that you can get discouraged along the way. There was this lady that came to my uh, comment section. I think it was two days ago when I posted the third day. This lady just came to my comment section and started talking certain things that I don't even know. And she was like, her name was Chioma, but I don't want to mention her, her surname. But if she do it again, I'll just mention her name. Because I went to her, her profile and she was slim. And she came there and was saying eh, that, eh, please go and eat. Stop bothering yourself. Stop suffering yourself. All these things, I can assure you that eh, after a few weeks, you will come back and then what you will eat, eh, you won't even be able to control it. Blah, blah, blah. She was just chatting all these things. And you know, I shouldn't be, you know, as she is my follower and so on, I, I have to be really be civil. So I was like, I told her that, look, you don't know how long ago that I have, you know, yeah, for the newcomers, this is the phone number. So you don't know how long ago I've been into weight management, you know, program for you to say that I will, when you will be around and I will go and start eating a lot and so on that you don't really know about it. Then she said that it's hunger that is worrying me. That is hunger that is worrying me that I should go and eat and so on. So one day I will talk about how our people, how our people are so are so very, very negative. And if people are not strong, when somebody says something like that, you will feel so down and discouraged. 
then you will just stop what you're doing. So when people read that, somebody who is very weak in heart will like, but this girl is saying the truth. So, you know, let me just go and eat. After all, life is once. But go to her profile. She is slim. So she is not eating as she is encouraging people. So there are some demons that are on common session. They just come there to, to, to become demonic. Okay? So you need power to resist certain things. You need power to resist certain negativities. Another thing about persistence is when you start losing weight, you will see some people that are saying, oh, you look so gaunt. You look so malnourished. You look at why are you looking like this? Eh? Why are you looking like this? Look at how you're looking. No, the way that you look before is better. You look sick. You look sick. What you need to know is that your body belongs to you. Your body doesn't belong to them. Your body is your body. It belongs to you. You, you, want, you know how you want to look. You know how you want to look. And some people who are telling you eh, that you look sick and so on, they might be too big and they are not even able to control themselves. But you that is able to control themselves, yourself, they are telling you that you look malnourished, you look sick, you look um, this and, and that. Your body belongs to you. You know how you want to look. You look yourself in the mirror and say that this woman is okay. So only you can know what you want. Nobody else. And again, when you start losing weight, you know that you were big before. You are looking different. So people will not be used, used to it. Even yourself, you will not be used to your body. But give it a time, you know, give it a time mentally and psychologically, you will get, you know, adapted to your body and people will start looking, seeing you as a slim person. But if you listen to them and then you say, oh, let you go and eat, then it's not good. So that power of persistence, you really need it. Mental toughness, you really need it to be able to stand all the criticisms that is coming because it does. If you do good, criticism. If you do bad, criticism. Even when you do good, that's the time that criticism will even be worse. So you need to be able to absorb that negativity and push it away from yourself. So this is one of the tools that we really need to, you know, I, you know, um, hold on to very tightly when we are doing weight management or weight loss program. Another tool that you need, which is a very important tool, please. This tool, you need to wear it like a cloak. You need to drink it like water. You need to make it your friend. This tool is patience. Patience. Yeah? One thing you need to know, <clears throat> it took you so many years to put on weight. It took you so many years of eating, of junk, of all those things that you eat. It took you so many years eating it. So how do you think that something that took you so many years to accumulate the fat, that it will just take you one, one week or two weeks for it to disappear. No, it doesn't work like that. When you start a weight management or weight loss journey, something is happening inside your body that you are not seeing. Just like what is happening inside your body when you eat. You don't see your body when it's digesting it. All you need to do, all you will see is later on, after a few weeks, you see yourself putting on weight. So that's exactly what happens when you are doing something in order to lose weight. So your body will be doing something inside without you knowing, without you noticing it. So don't go ahead after one week, you say, but I've been jumping up. I've been doing workouts. I've been eating less. I've been doing all these things, but I'm not seeing anything physical. What is all this? No, you need patience. You need patience. All the time you need patience. And the saying says that a patient dog eats the fattest bone. That's exactly, you know, that's exactly what you need. Yeah? So patience. Hi, Ebi, how are you, sweetie? Welcome. We're talking about tools that you need for weight loss. 
Okay. So the last but not the least is consistency. Consistency. So when you are consistent, when you are consistent, your weight, that is how do I say it? You know, when you have lost weight and then you try to maintain that weight, it's consistency that will make you to maintain the weight that you have lost. Just like I gave you guys an example that I felt that I am putting on weight. So because I felt that I'm putting on weight, I decided to do something about it. That is consistency. Because I want my weight to be kind of constant. Yeah? But I said, I'm telling you, ma, as of that time when I started losing weight, so many people was like, what are you doing to yourself? I beg, this your new look doesn't fit you at all. When some are admiring my new look. Exactly. It's something that I know, my darling. That's what happens. Even one of our sister here, very beautiful sister, Latifat. Some people are telling her because she, she lost weight and then Latifat, um, Bola and, so, and God, or, or most of them, they, they lost weight and started looking as if they are teenagers. So Latifat will say that uh, people are telling her, oh, it's not good. Oh, look at how you're looking and so on. So that's exactly what they told Bola. Bola even told me that the mother said, is she sick? What is wrong with her? But now are people not used to your, your, your looks? They are used to your looks now. You get me? Nobody will even remember that time. Nobody will remember that time that they are telling you, ah, you this, you that, but they are used to your weight. And when you start putting on weight, the same people that are telling you, oh, you look like this, it's the same them that will say, ah, you're putting on weight. What, what are you doing to yourself? It's the same people that will tell you that. That's why you need to, you know, take control of yourself. Okay, up till now, they, up till now, they are still complaining, you see? But very soon they will stop because they will get used to you looking like this. They will get used to you looking like this. You see? So, it's consistency, is, you know, being able to do it over and over, over and over. When you put on weight, you know what to do. When you put on weight, you know what to do, you know, as, in order to bring it back down. Because like I said when we were starting, that because we are human beings, our weight is up and down. It can never be the same. Even if, Latifa, even if you weigh yourself now, you must have put on one or two more kilos. That's true. You must have put on one or two more kilos. So it's up to you to know how to manage it up and down. You know, Bola has put on about how many kilos and she is doing the distance with me. Lizzie Chikodi, I pray it work for me oh, because I really need to lose weight. It's not about work for you. It is, do you know, scientific, uh -huh. Latifa said that she has added, this, what we are doing in Evergreen Living TV is like science. It has been tried. It has been tested and it has worked. Once you do what we ask you to do, it must, you will, you, it is a must. It is a must that you will lose weight. So that you're saying that you hope it will work for you is a, it's as if it's probability. No. If you are in the group and I give you all the tools that you need and you do what I ask you and follow the meal plan, it, it is a must. You must lose weight. <laughs> Latifa is starting her weight loss journey as again. You know, that's why I created the permanent group. Because in that permanent group, it's like your heart is at home. You are there to start anytime, to start posting your food anytime. You are there to sleep if you want to sleep. You are there that when people are posting, it's like, let me go and weigh myself. Oh, let me follow uh, Nena, Nena today, Nena is posting. Or let me follow Bola today, Bola is posting. Or Latifa is posting today, let me go and follow her and so on. That's why I created that permanent page so that if you want to sleep there, you sleep because you're no longer paying any money. Okay? So this is what, I, you know, my spirit said that I should come and talk to you guys about today. So that when you are going into weight management or weight loss program, you will arm yourself with all these things. When you remember that, yes, grandma said this. So. Grandma said that I need self-image. Yeah? 
Grandma said that um um grandma said that I need mental toughness. Grandma said that I need um a role model. Grandma said that I need uh, persistence. Grandma said that I need patience. Grandma said that I need consistency. So when you remember all these things in your head, when something wants to happen, you will remember one. I need to, this is what I want to. Do you know how you look, Latifa? That's your before and after. Do you know how it is? Did you see Bola before and after? Did you see all this uh, comfort? Did you see... um? What are the, you guys' names? You're so many. Did you see your before and after? So when you see that after, you don't want to go back to wherever you're coming from. You are on fasting. You will break your fast by 7 p.m. And uh, you're taking smoothie. Please, so I don't want you to take it too fast. Too, fa too fast. You need to take it easy. That's why I am on 30 days meal sample. You can follow me and you will lose. Because when you fast too much, that's when you have a, you know, a pushback. But whichever, whatever that works for you, it's okay. Yeah? So this is what I come to tell you guys um, today. So that's why sometimes you need to be checking your distance because sometimes I come online impromptu like that. I just say, let me go and talk to my children. I haven't seen them for a while. So because since uh, Sunday, I haven't seen you guys. So, and today is Thursday already. I said, no, Saturday is still too far. Let me just see you guys today. So that's why I came. Yeah. So do you have any question? Anybody? Okay. I used to fast on Monday. And okay. That's okay. If it is a religious fasting, that's okay. That's okay. Well done, my darling. That's okay. Okay. So uh, pray for me oh, as you're fasting. <laughs> So any question? Is there any question? Anybody? I'll be Abams. I'll be my darling. You're doing very well. Okay. So if there is no question, let me sing your song for you. When I was young, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Yeah, what she says to me. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be, the futures are hard to see. Go, Sarah, Sarah, oh, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be, the futures are hard to see. Sarah, Sarah. Lizzie said, please, but when did you say we are going to fast? Um, Lizzie, um, I I don't know if you're the one that want my number. I want you to take my number and then message me so that you will join the group. When you join the group, I will give you all the information you need. Because um, it's not everybody that is fasting, it's called intermittent fast. That's exactly one of the tools that we use to lose weight in Evergreen Living TV. Yeah. So I want you guys to share the, I want you guys to share the number again. So when you share the number again, Lizzie, I want you to message me so that I'll tell you how to join the group. Then you will get all the information that you need. And then you start. Abi Abams, ma, I ate corn and drank malt. Hey! Abby, you drank malt. You drank malt, Abby. You broke the rule. It's today. It's today your your your, your diet free day. Eh? It's today your diet free day. I'm asking you. Why did you drink malt? Today is not your diet free day. I thought that it's Sunday that is your diet free day. Why did you drink malt? Lizzie, my darling. Okay, just message me. You see your sisters. You see, you see, she ate corn and she drank malt. Do you know how many sugar that is in the malt? Anyway, sometimes, sometimes if you cannot help it, maybe once in a long while, you just test it. Yeah? You just test it. After all, after all, life is for the living. Yeah? We cannot every time lose weight, lose weight. Sometimes you test that in that you hungry you so that, you know, so that you will balance. That's okay, Obi. That's okay. Yeah. So if there is no, I hope that everybody that need the phone number has received the phone number 
If you have not received the phone number, please, I need you to let me know. Yeah? Because I'm going to close. <laughs> I'll be saying that she, she's sorry. You have dragged it in. Don't worry. Don't worry. You will walk out and then the whole sugar will go. Don't worry. Sometimes we need to do it. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You guys make me happy. You make me happy when skies are red. You never know day how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Listen, I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. And I wish you all the health, good health in life. I wish you the body that you desire yeah i wish you the pockets that you desire i wish you the happiness that you desire i pray that the universe will release unto you whatever you seek when you hear me say universe i mean god because people see god in so many different ways so that's why i said it okay thank you so very much and i will see you guys on saturday remember to join for your workout too Remember to join for your workout. You better join for your workout. Yeah? Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Solenga, ma'am, please, what are the different kinds of food one has to take for the weight loss? Okay. Um, I, I, you, ha you have taken my number, yeah? Solenga, you have taken my number. So message me. Adari is there. I didn't see you. So message me, okay? When you message me, I will tell you what to do. You will join the 30 days meal plan. It's not expensive. Then, and then I will give you meal menu. And again, I want you to follow my page because I am, I am posting daily meals of my, I call it, um, I call it meal samples. If you go to my page, and then click on Evergreen Living TV. You will see I have posted five days. Tomorrow I will post the sixth day. So I am giving you guys different examples of food and different portions of food. What time on Saturday is uh, 10 a.m. English time. What country are you, Kamara? It's 10 a.m. English time. It's 10 a.m. Nigerian time because uh, when it's summer, Nigeria and the yeah, and the Britain we have the same time, but when it's uh, winter, Nigeria is one one hour ahead of us. So tell me where you are. Let me tell you the time um, for the workout. <clears throat> Sierra Leone, okay. Um, Sierra Leone, is it the same time with Nigeria? I don't know. So let me. What time is it there now? What time is it there now? So that I will know whether. It's uh, the same time, yeah? What time is it in Sierra Leone? Solange, okay, Solange is uh, in US. So, um, yeah, Solange, I want you to message me because, uh, you know, there is a, a, a you know, a, a page where you belong. Um, So it's 10, it's 10 a.m. English time. And I know that in some places in the US, you, you know, you might still be sleeping because I think you are six hours either behind or something like that yeah i think you're six hours behind but just message me but what you do when you wake up come to the page you will see us and you do exactly what we did because we do workout dance people join we do workout dance for 45 minutes sometimes for one hour so Brit britana i'm still waiting for you to tell me the time there in sierra leone so that i will tell you exactly the time on saturday on your for your own okay it says 6 13 now okay it's your own nine o'clock it's your own 9 a.m yeah britana it's your own 9 a.m so remember that it's your own 9 a.m it's our 10 because you guys are one hour be one hour below us so your own is 9 a.m okay so try and join all of you so that we will work out and burn fat for 45 minutes yeah okay i love you guys and i'll be leaving now yeah i'm happy i've seen you guys 
Okay. Mwah, 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 mwah. I want you guys to start giving me love. Start giving me love. Start giving me love. I love you. You love me. We are happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Won't you say you love me too? I love you guys, yeah? And I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye from sexy grandma. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.